morning. Welcome back to this channel, Linguist Talk Indonesia. And now I have an interesting topic to discuss related to the social linguistic. These topics sometimes underestimated by many people. It's about how to call someone in a conversation or to call your interlocutor and what it is. Yeah, we can call it an addressing terms. Do you know what is addressing terms? You don't know? <laughs> Let's check this out. So now I will explain you what is addressing terms. Let's join my class. Come on. So here you are. Well, friends, in order to want to know what is addressing terms, first you have to know what is language. As we know, people use language to communicate each other. And second, the aspect of language. After we know the language, we have to know the aspect of language. According to Widowsen, the aspect of language is called linguistic. Once again, linguistic. And third, the sociolinguistic field. And after that, we have four points. First, about language and cultural, language and society, and language and gender. And the last is solidarity and politeness. And finally, we will find what is an addressing terms. Well, friends, before we jump into the explanation of addressing terms, we have to know the definition first, according to the expert. Addressing terms is a terms or phrases to call somebody in speech or writing. And after we know the addressing terms, we have to know the types of addressing terms. Well, according to Wardup, he stated that there are six types of addressing terms including their six symbol. I will show you. Wait. Here you are. Due to the symbol, I will explain it one by one. First, we have T for title alone. According to Wardup, he stated that in addressing someone for a title alone, it shows the least intimate. For example, is uh, when, when we call someone like Sir, ma'am, madam, professor, and etc. Second, we have symbol FN for first name. According to Wardau, he stated that the use of FN in communication it indicates equality, familiarity, and intimacy. For the example, is uh, like my name is Nada Sabira, and my interlocutor will call me as Nada. Third, we have LN symbol for last name. The use of these types in addressing someone, it indicates that the speaker more superior than the addressee. The example of LN is, my name is Nada Sabira and my interlocutor will call me as Sabira, not Nada, because my interlocutor have more superior power than me. Well, next is TLN symbol. TLN as title plus last name. According to Wardell, he explained that the use of these addressing terms indicates the unbalanced power between speaker and addressee. For example, when I call the doctor as Dr. Jane, like that. Five, we have the symbol N or P, and for nickname, P for pet name. In short, we can say that this type of addressing terms it shows the intimacy between the interlocutor and the addressee. Now, for the example is when I call my boyfriend as darling or my best friend as sweetie, sweetheart. And last, we have the symbol K for kinship. Now, in these types of dressing terms, it can be that the participant must have close relationship as a family. For example is when I call my mom as mother and my dad as father and my grandma as grandmother like that. Now, after all the explanation of the symbol, you must curious what is the function of addressing terms and what is the social factor in using addressing terms, right? Okay, I will explain again. The main function of addressing terms is to show intimacy, to show power, to show differential, and to show respect. 
Okay, last, I have to explain some social factor in using addressing terms. First is the symbol PO. PO is particular occasion. Second, the symbol RO. RO is rank of occupation. And last is H. And last is the symbol A for H. Okay, friends, I think that's all for me. I hope my explanation could be accepted to your ears and in your heart. And if you have some opinion, you can comment down below. And then, last, yeah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.